When Riley Nelson was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, his doctor told him that regular exercise would increase his strength and improve his agility. I always had strong legs, but my upper body strength has deteriorated. But this isn't a regular gym or a normal workout, because he volunteered to be part of a research program on strength training for older adults. The study, which begins in the gym and continues in a special research lab, is a unique partnership between VA and the University of Alabama, Birmingham. In the 1970s, VA realized it needed to plan for an aging veteran population and began establishing Geriatric Research Educational and Clinical Centers, or GRECs, to provide specialized care for our older veterans. Today, there are 20 GRECs across the country, and research is a major component of their mission. Dr. Richard Allman, the director of the Birmingham Atlanta GREC, says this program is an effort to determine how exercise can help older people with Parkinson's disease improve their strength and mobility. Parkinson's disease is a slowly progressive neurologic disorder that leads to problems with gait and balance and puts these individuals at risk for falling, which is a big problem. And exercise appears to be and is likely to be an ideal prescription or an ideal medicine for helping the individual with Parkinson's disease to learn how to better coordinate the brain function with their muscle function. Dr. Allman says VA and the University of Alabama Birmingham have complementary strengths and resources and their partnership on studies like this one enables VA to do more research, offer better programs, and provide even better care for their patients. Like the other participants in the study, Riley goes to a special gym three times a week for scientifically designed and carefully monitored workouts that one day may help explain why older people lose muscle mass and, more importantly, right. how they can rebuild it. For Riley, it's an opportunity to help himself and other seniors, many of whom are veterans. When I was a poster child for symptoms of Parkinson's, and I wanted to be able to do anything I could to help somebody else who had those same systems live with it, because it's, it can be debilitating. Dr. Marcus Bamman, the director of the UAB Center for Exercise Medicine, leads the study and says his team has introduced a high-intensity exercise routine for aging adults with Parkinson's. He then studies the results in a research lab. We know that over a period of decades of aging, yes. both the Parkinson's patients and the healthy older adult have, have suffered some level of muscle atrophy, some amount of muscle loss. So we're interested in restoring that. We call that muscle regrowth. The question is, exactly what impact does high intensity exercise have on the go. aging process on patients with Parkinson's disease? We think that it can have significant benefit for both uh, restoration of muscle function in terms of strength, power development, reduced fatigability, improved balance and coordination. Riley has only been in the program for three months and he has already seen an improvement in his strength and agility. In the mornings I used to get up out of bed and feel like I was going to fall over and I don't even have to brace myself to get out of bed anymore. Danny Fuqua, another vet with Parkinson's disease, also volunteered for the workout study. And, like Riley, he's noticed a significant improvement in his physical condition. I feel stronger, feel more confident, and I think it's certainly going to, in the long run, help me uh, maintain mobility. If a person wants to maintain their independence, they want to continue to live in the home that they've had for decades, and they want to be able to get up and down the stairs, and they want to be able to function in their community well, strength is absolutely critical.